Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts today. I'm sorry, there must be something going on. They're putting flares on the road. Maybe I should pause and check it out. What do you think? I can't tell what's happening, but um, I could almost do this from outside. It's about 50 degrees today. My hair looks like, um, oh, I don't know, you know, the curly do from uh, the Brady Bunch woman. Florence Henderson back in the day. Of course, I have this bandana on my head. Okay. Just dropping in. I have had very little sleep, ladies and gentlemen. This harkens back to the days when the child was born and would breastfeed every two hours. I mean, my God, all I did was breastfeed. Uh, conclude breastfeeding. Prep for the next breastfeeding. Breastfeed again. Yes, breastfeeding. I highly recommend it. But at any rate, uh, Bernadette, she didn't breastfeed on me last night, ladies and gentlemen. But she was... Really, I was in the West Wing, in the little region now that we have with the screen thing there so the cats can get to know each other through there. And Bernadette wasn't allowed to have food and water after a certain hour. And she woke up repeatedly and howled like a mad woman. And, you know, at one point, it was 6.30 in the morning, I looked out. I actually opened the bedroom window to smoke out of it, to be honest with you. And um, Bernard the large outdoor kitty that uh, comes and goes, you know, he might be gone for six months and then he appears again. He was walking away very defeated looking toward the tree at 6.30 this morning. He had to have heard her. I, I mean, honest to Pete. Unbelievable. But the bottom line is we got her over to the vet. She's there right now. She's probably undergone the procedure as we speak. Um, of course, we wanted to know her age and all that, but Amy, has that's our vet, has to look at her teeth. Um, she did think she's very young because of her face. You know, it's she has that round kittenish quality, the kitten ass quality. So that's what's going on with her. Um, I'll pick her up. I'll leave today about four o'clock. Illegally driving in Edna. I still haven't got my license, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just getting ridiculous about putting things off like that. I don't know what it is. Paperwork freaks me out. Maybe I have some disorder. Uh, fear of paperwork. Fop. Fear of paperwork. Yeah. I don't care for it. It is a big part of my job, though, and I don't seem to have trouble with it, doing it for that, but whatever. So I just thought I'd check in and say hello, as I do. Uh, not much to report yet um, in terms of the little gal, the little lady, the little howling wench that must have intercourse soon, Bernadette. Um, I'm still just intrigued as to what's unfolding outdoors here, but you know... You know how it is in the country. We have to be nosy and look at everything. A lot of rubbernecking going on here, ladies and gentlemen, when anything happens. So, um, that's really it. I, you know, I'm too tired to go on. I have some work to do. I did get an interesting... Uh, once again, I said that's it, and I will ramble on. Um, one moment, please, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to be cozy right here. Actually, that way I can look out these windows and see what's happening outside. Ooh. Uh... Oh, yeah, I had an interesting phone call today. I'm going to try to be delicate because I never know who looks at these videos. I have almost 500 people now. Yay! Uh, you know, I saw the advertising for the paper. And I got this phone call. It was just really interesting, I think, the way, the way that some people feel free to approach others over a business call. Let me just say that. Uh, some swearing going on on the other end. Um, declarations of... Uh, an objection to computer usage of any kind went on on the other end of the phone. Uh, very loud individual on the other end of the phone to the point where I really just laid the phone down and took the information. I did sell the advertising, however, but at one point, honest to Pete, it was, you know, how much abuse am I supposed to take on a phone call when, you know, it was just crazy. It, strange. I know I'm, I'm being very vague here because I know how people are, especially people who declare other people to be snowflakes. I notice they're the biggest snowflakes of all. Uh, I could probably burst into song over that, but I won't. Yeah, that drives me to drink. I see snowflakeism in everyone, I guess. And um, I just think it's funny that we can't recognize snowflakes in ourselves. <laughs> I don't know. I am so silly today. Because I don't, I didn't have a lot of sleep. I mean, there's certain things about which I'd be snowflakeish. I'll admit it. I can't think of anything offhand, but I'm not easily offended, you know, ladies and gentlemen. But um, you know, there are some things I wouldn't say it's snowflakey. I would say that it's um, God, I am really rambling on here. I would say it's more common decency. Um, 
when it's not displayed, to which I object strongly, I guess. And it wouldn't be like, I don't mind if you make fun of me or something like that, because I make fun of me all the time. But, you know, if somebody were to say something disparaging against Perpetual or my mother or my dead father, which actually kind of did happen in a live gig recently, um, yeah, they just felt free to criticize the album I was playing, uh, the certain individual who shall remain nameless and faceless, because I wouldn't want to embarrass him, even though he had no problem being completely rude about my father and the music I was playing. I was playing a little track from uh, an album that my father made, and the comments were really nasty from this person. It was kind of surprising, because I've talked to the person before in real life, like a face-to-face -face video call and stuff. It was just strange. And you know what? If you're watching this, you should be feel embarrassed about it because it was rude. If you don't like the music, then just shut the F up about it. You don't have to go on and on and on. And thank God nobody else said anything back in the in the chat. Boy, I'm really letting loose now. I've gone from giddy to downright mad as a wet hen, as the saying goes. Well, it just makes me mad. In other words, I'm not offended on behalf of other people unless they are, you know, immediate family, really like perpetual, my dead father, mother sister, brother, you know, maybe a close friend or something. I don't know, being offended on behalf of somebody, if that's the right word or not. I just get sick of a certain segment of society claiming that another segment of society is filled with snowflakes when I know darn well that the first segment of society of which I just spoke would be completely off the rails if you mentioned something disparaging about, say, religion. Figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. See, I'm not using labels. I'm not using political identity. I'm not using party anything. But I, I think you know what I mean, don't you? So I stay away from criticizing all that jazz because I just want to share the love. Oh, yeah. I'm really loving today. Okay, that's all. I'm done. Oh, my God. I will get with you after the surgery. I'll, I'll leave you alone for a while. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with wild, random, crazy thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember that war is indeed a racket. Don't take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen. Check out General Smudley Butler. For my new uh, subscribers, I normally don't let loose this way, but I'm a little cranky. I'm a little giddy. All wound into one, and I just had some emotions, and I displayed them freely here on YouTube. Love you.